we are here at Cinespace in Hollywood. I'm your host, Tammy Law. We are here for the premiere of A-Holes Anonymous. You guys are in for a really good treat, so stick around. What is the biggest A-Hole move you've ever pulled on a date? Uh, I did have a girlfriend when I was younger who wrote poems about me and when the relationship was waning, I read them in front of classes and it didn't go out for a while when she found out. Mine? Um, just asked her if she's ever slept with another girl. Is that bad? I had a boyfriend who bought me a carton of cigarettes and a Slurpee for Valentine's Day once. That was pretty a-hole. Was that the end of your relationship? Yeah. Got in my car and left and left to where we were and then she had to deal with a cab. I've only told me that my face makeup didn't match the rest of my body. <laughs> On a real date. Such a dick. I couldn't even take anyone out on a proper date. Uh, ended up with going to the restaurant and the bar with a girl and um, ended up leaving with another girl. When she dropped me off, I kicked her car door in. When she dropped you off, you kicked her car door in. What did she do? She ran. <laughs> this happens to be my son's girlfriend. So I have never done anything. That's what girls want. They want a guy they can reform. So even if I'm not an a-hole, I have to pretend to be one so I can get further with a girl. Being on their phone the entire time, I think that that right there is like a super a-hole thing. Uh, I pulled quite a few, but uh, I can't say right off the hand. Uh... Weak again for another booty call. You don't have to wine and diner. You don't have to take care of it. I <laughs> tapped a girl on the shoulder. This is awful. I can't believe I'm saying this. I tapped a girl on the shoulder and I was like, excuse me. Are you on TV? Oh wait, that's me. And uh, she was not amused. What every other guy does, just don't call her back and uh, say I lost her number. iPhones, texting you nudie shots and not letting you buy them dinner. Scheduling two dates in one night. So I had one and then the other one showed up too soon. She saw the one, she got in a cab. That was pretty much it for me. If anybody wants to be in a serious relationship with Heather Storm here, <laughs> put your freaking phone down. Yes, that's very true, please. At least for dinner. Um, I don't know, like, not call somebody that's not even that bad. I think the worst for me though, in all honesty, was I was on vacation with a girl I'd been dating, and I left her and I flew out and left her on vacation by herself. Whew. That is a loaded question. You're going to have to tune into the series and find out. Alright, i got to ask, at least one of you guys has an answer to this question. What is the worst pickup line you've ever used? Shove that right in the pasta. Here's 10 cents. Go tell your mother that you're not coming home tonight. Did it hurt? No. Well, no, you meant to say what? What? When, when you fell from heaven. Like that kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you I liked it! Work. Look at it, you liked that one. That was... I think it was just, do you want to... F word. He says, hey baby, you look like a Russian. Are you Russian? A guy told me that his therapist had just told him he hated women. And so I thought that was an interesting tactic. Did you fall from heaven? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, did I just die? Because you look like an angel. And you'll say, hold on, hold on, okay. Oh, hold on, I gotta take this. Hold on, yeah, yeah. No, 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 I'll be right back. Okay, hold, hold on, okay. Could you hold that? I'll call you. I don't even use a pickup line. I just walk up and I open my mouth and they already run away. Oh yeah, is your father a thief? Because he stole the stars from the sky and put them in your eyes. Something like that. One time I asked a girl straight off the bat if she'd like to touch my mustache. Did you just fart? Because you just blew me away. Your eyes are like candy. I wish I can put them in my pocket and carry them with me all the time. It's a uh, my that sweater is becoming on you, but then again, if I were wrapped around your chest, I'd be too. Now, where is the respect? Like, where is the respect? I don't know. I feel like it's getting worse, though. It's definitely not getting better. <laughs>